This topic in Altair Inspire Studio is combining polynerbs with real NURB surfaces. So I have created a bottle and if I unnerbify you can see that it is a really polygonal geometry. I can smooth it out. And um, so if this is a bottle we want to have a tap at the top. So for that to happen I need exact geometry. So I created a circle. Here's the circle. And I extruded that into a tube. Now let's create a transition surface between the polynerb and the nerb surface. I go to my surface ribbon and I pick the loft. The loft allows me to create a smooth surface between curves or edges. So I pick the top edge of the bottle, of the polynerb, and I click the bottom edge of my tube. Now it lets me choose between the circle and the extrusion. I want to pick the extrusion because then I can define the direction of the surface. And immediately my surface is being created. I am done creating the surface so I right click and I don't want any internal curves so I right click and then I have the option in the control panel for the transition. I can make it transitional like here and it only means that they touch. I can make them tangent or I can even make them surface curvature continuous. And I'm done. So I right click. Now I'm done. So I accept. The surface is completely smooth. As I can see by pressing 4, I get the zebra stripes and it doesn't have any dents. Press 2 again for shaded mode. And you can see that I can still change it. I can, for instance, move the cylinder up and down. I can change the polynerve. I can, for instance, increase the height or I can decrease or I can scale out. And it will completely update. I can also change the circle by double clicking it here and I can for instance either type in a new value or also drag it dynamically. I can even move it pressing W or rotate it. As you can see I'm completely flexible in a smooth transition between polynerb surfaces and nerve surfaces. One final step is to combine these three objects into one and give it a thickness for production. I pick the combine tool and I select all three objects. Right click and I'm done. Right click. Now it is one object. I can go to the offset tool to give this surface an offset. Just click it and here it is. It's a bit big so I make it one millimeter and then I check thickening so that it becomes a thick object. And now here is my 3D solid bottle.